Hey guys, this is Eskimo Kuro, and we're back to this play. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes and Elusive Age on the PC. Last time, we got back out on the open sea and found out that Eric was hanging out in the ship's hold, and uh, he kind of lost his memory. So, oh well. That uh, sucks for him. We'll find out more about that uh, later, though. And then we did side quests for Honolulu, which were kind of a pain, and you know, other stuff like that. And today, we're going to go ahead and run around with our Hallelujah pet power, which needs Eric, the hero, and Jade pepped up. And we're going to grab ourselves some rare steels, like from these guys, who I think have the metal boomerangs. Or goomerangs, I'm sorry. So this will work out quite well for us. Uh, so we can, uh, you know, get up and going. All right, hallelujah, let's go. I'll We've seen this before, I'm not going to make you guys sit through it again. So we are set. Let's get out of here. I want to see how the crack will do on these birds. Since, honestly, it has a pretty good okay? attack power in general. Uh, if I can get, like, my turn to, uh, not die, that'd be great. Uh, Boulder Bringer on the Night, Aberrant. Boulder some stuff going on there. Uh, we're gonna have to both heal instead of anything else because that little rapid fire of blows kind of did a fair chunk of damage, if I do say so myself. Get wrecked. As long as we get our turn before they start, you know, rain of firing on us, we should be able to kill. Oh, there goes Rab, and there goes the hero. So, yeah, these birds don't fuck around. That's for damn sure. Uh, I don't think I have any freaking uh, Yggdrasil leaves. So, we're going to go ahead with putting you in there, and you in there. There you go. You're and we're just going to have uh, a couple people not get any experience out of that. So, uh, that's just going to have to be how things go. Yeah, these birds cause problems, that's for damn sure. Also, Eric, as much as I appreciate your ability to, you know, be here in these trying times, you're not doing contributing anything except for your pet power, so oh well. Watch out! Okay, they need to fuck off with that ability. Why? Why? Uh, let's see. Crap, we need to get rid of these. We need to get rid of these bastards, but they are causing problems here. Um. Lightning if I die to these birds, well, I'm not going to be terribly. Um, I'm not going to be terribly surprised since they put up a fight. That poisons, but I don't think that's going to do anything for us here. Uh, yeah, we need to heal up here. At the very least, yeah. Jade needs to heal up here. The problem is that all three of those bastard birds got their ability off, like, immediately. And it didn't work out terribly well for us. There you go. At least now we're not going to take, you know, massive amounts of damage from these bird bastards. Goodbye. Eventually, goodbye. Not bad at all. Not bad, not great. You guys get 6,000 experience. Metal Goomerangs. Neat. And yeah, I think uh, Hallelujah only works on three enemies at once. So despite the fact that there were four enemies in that fight, we only got the three enemies, or the drops from three of the enemies. Luckily, the game decided to give it to us from those guys instead of the Knight Aberrant, or whatever his name was. Uh, let's see. We check out our Metal Goomerang. Let's see. 
64, 70. So a little weaker than Pentarang, but since it, I think it almost always does a guaranteed hit on metal enemies, it's still not too bad. So that's definitely a solid extra boomerang for when Eric gets his boomerang stuff back. But if we look at it right now, let's see here. Oh yeah, also, you can see it sells for a whole ass ton of money right there, 10,000. And if we pop that bad boy up with some perfectionist pearls, yeah. So, that's 30,000 right there just from stealing, so not too bad. Let's see, in terms of other stuff to steal... Let's see. On the sea, uh, the Tentaculars have full moon, full moon rings for their common steel, or the rare steel, so that's not too bad. Uh, these guys don't have anything. Uh, the Merkings, which we're going to go find on the coast of Lore, have the Scandalous and Swimsuit, which, again, you can just buy at the casino for, like, uh, 800,000 tokens or some shit like that. And the main reason you care about this is because it's an outfit for Gade. That's the main reason you care about it. Glumbre uh, Glumbrellas from the Bullet Brawly Garches in the Laguna de Gondolia for the Champs Sauvage right now. Yeah, they have their Glumbrellas, which sell for a pretty penny. And then that's mostly what I care about from these guys, I think. Uh, Falcon Knife Earrings from these guys, it's not the best thing ever, but if you want Salvando or Eric to dual wield against a Metal Slime or something like that and hope for the multitude of hits to hit, well, there you go, there's your Falcon Knife Earrings. And Mercury's Bandana was okay. Watermall Wand, I don't think that was terribly necessary. Okay, uh, let's see, then the other stuff that we care about... I don't think most of this other stuff... Dragon's Mane is a, just a regular one-handed sword, I think. Uh, a bunch of a bunch of seeds that I'm not going to be worrying about right now. I'll worry about the seeds later in the game, but for now... For now, there's not a whole lot that we care about. Uh, Vicious Demon Riders. No, you guys don't have a whole lot. Sage's Elixir, which we can just basically buy. Uh, Eerie Irie, what do you guys have? I don't think you guys have anything new, except for the Demon Riders and the Knights of Barrent, which... The Cavalier Cleaver, I think that's the axe we already had access to, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, let's see, Champs Sauvage. I don't think there's anything here besides the Umbrella, pretty much. Uh, Storm, Ste Storm Spear could be good, but I'm not in... I don't remember exactly if it was. Uh, let's see. Uh, I might get the Storm Spear from this guy off screen just to see how good it is, but it's probably not going to be anything I really care about. Uh, Spinchilla, Mercury's Madonna, no, we don't care about that. Uh, Night Clubber, no, you guys have some. Honestly, decent stuff there, but it's stuff that I would want to farm later in the game instead of now. That's right, you have the better common steel, in my opinion, right there. And you're rare, so good luck finding that. Plus, you can just buy the damn things at the casino, so... Not terribly worried about it. Uh, let's see... There's something over at Insula Occidentalist, which we'll go check out at some point. Same thing with over here, we'll check that out eventually. Uh, all the slimes over here have, eh, not much really. Platinum headgear, I guess, is okay, but I don't think we really need it, so we're set. So at the very least, we're going over to uh, Costa Villor for the Scandal Swimsuit. I will also go ahead and see how that uh, Storm Spear works out. Actually, before I do that, let me make sure I don't actually have it already and just forgot about it. No, I don't seem to have it. I mean, it might have been viable somewhere, but I don't remember. I'm going to check right now. Hang on. Okay, apparently we can just buy the uh, Storm Spirit Honolulu, which I guess I didn't see over there. And it's a small upgrade from the Platinum Lance, but it also does lightning damage. So I think I'll just go ahead and sell and buy there. And we need to, uh, yeah, we need to get you guys back up and fighting shape there. So I'll go buy that. Probably just uh, sell some. Actually, no, we have plenty of money in the bank, don't we? Yeah, we have plenty of money over there. Uh, let's see, monsters. 
Alright, so Octagonia doesn't have anything new. Actually, no, that might be a vicious. Um... Actually, I'm not sure what that new monster is down there then. Unless it's, unless it's like a vicious metal slime. But I killed one of those guys, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh... Yeah, I actually killed a vicious metal slime, so I'm not sure what that new bastard is. Let me go check. Okay, so it's still just it. Okay, I didn't realize that I didn't pause, even though I pressed the button to pause. Or I uh, yeah, still just liquid metal slime over in uh, Dundrasil. So good to know about that. Zvardrust. Uh, again, I don't think I pull a lot over here. Uh, there was there was like one more dude that had a um, I forget where it was, but there was one more enemy that had a metal ring or, or metal weapon of some kind. I forget who it was. Not you, despite the fact you're great for experience. I can tell you that much right now. Uh, let's see. Item headgear? No. There was one more enemy somewhere around here. It might have been over here somewhere that had... The, well, you, okay, that's the metal goomerang. Metal slime sword. Hyperpexion. There we go. Which is solid. But again, you can just sell it for most of the stuff there. Mount Huji. Yeah, we're not terribly worried about you guys. Yes, we're not going to go there just yet. Hotel Step, you're good. Kingsborough. Yeah, it looks like there's only like a couple things that I really want to steal here. So, with that, with that in mind, I'm going to go to, where was it, uh, I think I want to go to, party lineup, and start getting you guys ready to pep up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and head over to, um... You know, let's go to Lonolulu real fast and just grab that Storm Spear before I forget. And that'll be a small upgrade for Jade for the moment. Actually, that would probably make the those, ro ro those Robo Bird bastards a lot easier. Just because, you know, they're metal and it would probably take slightly more damage from the metal there. Yeah, if I had had the spear, it probably would have worked out for me a little bit better than what I'm currently dealing with here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Storm Spear. There it is. But it increases the agility by a small amount. Hmm. Not a whole lot, but you know, something. Let's see, it is a uh, four point decrease for the moment, but it'll be better 
in a few minutes here. Is there anything here that I don't care? Uh, let's sell one of the metal boomerangs. Because I might just... No, nah, you don't know. I want to go ahead and uh, power that thing up and get some good stuff out of it. Uh, let's see. Steel broadsword. We might... St I forget if we did that quest already. We might still need it. Uh, Sage's staff. No, we'll keep you for now. Because that might still be good for... What's his name? Let's see, Natty Cravat. Uh, Metal Slime Shield still sells for a fair chunk. Actually, we're going to just go ahead and get the uh, Storm Spear. So, yeah, we might as well just drop the Lightning Lance there. There you go. And... Honestly, that's enough. So, cool. Let's go ahead and buy Mr. Storm Spear. Give that to Jade. There we go. We'll keep her Platinum Spear for now. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and start pepping up, so... I'll meet you guys. Actually, um, I'm just, yeah, I'll meet you guys over by Port of Valor. We'll get that swimsuit first. Actually, real fast, before I forget, just to make my life a little bit easier for now, uh, let's go ahead and get the pep chance plus five for Mr. Hero here. That'll make his life slightly easier. Uh, let's see, Eric, you can't learn it right now. And then Jade. I think, yeah, you're like, uh, no, that's the bonus right there. Um, oh, there's your pep, pen, your pep chance right there. We need five points. You know what? I don't actually care about the puff buff. So let's go ahead and do that. And at the very least, that'll cause those two to get into their pep slightly faster. Again, for the hero, uh, if you get to... This panel right here, which cost 25 SP, or 25 uh, SP, whatever you want to call it, um, that puts him into an instant pep steam. Problem is, you got to unlock the panel, and then it also costs 25. I think I think it's 25 uh, skill points to actually buy it. So you could do that, and then you could like respect back later. But you still have to wait for you know your other party members to get into their pep state. So I figured just the extra pep chance right now, which reminds me, we're trading you out for if I have it, which I might not. There you go. That's an extra 2% chance for Eric to get into pep state right now, so it's not much, but it's helpful. So, there we go. Yeah, this way, they all have a, at least a slightly higher chance of getting into pep than what they normally would. I mean, I'm still going to be sitting there defending for a while, but we'll get to it eventually. Uh, let's see. Benediction. Oh, uh, no. Uh, rectification. Here we go. Um... No, you're fine. Eric, you're fine, too. We got a free respec right there. I forget if it puts your points back the way they were when you eventually get his skill tree back. I don't recall if it does. I really don't. Uh, we're just going to have to suffer for having Hot Lick on you, because I don't feel like redoing your stuff again. Uh, but yeah, your Allure tree, we're going to get rid of that right now. There we go. Uh, the, no, Rap doesn't have anything he needs. Okay, so we set. Pep up chance right there. I guess I should have had that for a while, but whatever. Party Pooper is nice for groups of enemies, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, let's see. Do I care about anything over here? That's extra agility. That's extra strength. Honestly, the extra agility is probably... Or the extra strength is more worth it right now. Agility's not bad, but more strength. Vacuum Smash is another group ability. You know what? No, I'm just gonna hold on for that because that'll be that'll be pretty decent right there. Okay, I'm gonna go start pepping up, so I'll be back.
All right, we're all pepped up. Let's go ahead and fight one of these guys without killing them with the, you know, running into them. So that'd be great. Wow! Look at a big kitty. Oh, we're gonna get two scandal sim suits. I forget if you can actually sell these things or not, but I'm assuming you can. But uh, we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Let's go for some of that. Hallelujah! And again, we're just gonna skip the animation yeah. since we don't care. We've had we've had Jade in a swimsuit in this playthrough for a little while, so I think we'll stick with uh, her current outfit, and then later on we'll get her back into the swimsuit. But for now, I just want to get it just to have it. But again, I could have bought a casino for several hundred thousand tokens, but this is easier. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, switch out your nobleman's knife, which has 78 attack power. I was gonna say switch it out for your. Um, your pentaring or your metal goomerang. Yeah, let's go ahead. Why not? You can actually do some damage here, buddy. Keyword there being some damage. And you get smash. Good night, sirs. We did it. Look at that. They dropped some stuff. Scan to a swimsuit. And another one. Nice. Uh, let's see. Do you guys sell for anything? 5,000. Eh, it's not as much as I was hoping, but, you know. Yeah, uh, they have one defense. They have a ton of charm, but they have one defense. So... It's a bit much on the uh, the charm there, in my opinion, but... Oh, well. Let's see, Scarlet Slayer... The Swimmer. There we go. Didn't we have a... Uh... I thought we had a swim outfit like this for her earlier. Or am I just thinking about all the time she spent in the bunny costume? I'm probably just thinking about all the time she spent in the bunny costume. But either way, we'll have the uh, scandalous swimsuit on eventually. But for now, we're going to stick with her Scarlet Slayer because it looks nice. It looks nice. It, the bikini bottom, or bikini top, as it should be, uh, will have its day in the sun eventually. Okay, so really, I think the only thing left that I really care about stealing is just those uh, swords from yeah just the swords pretty much from the guys over by the guys over by uh, the Glopolis region uh, I think there was wasn't there somebody over by Hoto I, th I feel like there was somebody by Hoto that I was thinking about but at the same time I'm not gonna Not gonna worry about it yet. No, okay. Give me a second to go through this list one more time on my own. See if there's anything else I care about, and I'll be right back. Okay, these aren't the guys that we need to fight, but uh, well, we're gonna kill them anyways because why not? Uh, the Merc Kings can only be found at nighttime apparently, so you wanna watch out for that uh, at the Coast of War. Because if you try to find them at any other time, well, you're not gonna have a great time about it. So just keep that in mind. Uh here, swoosh. Hold on tight now. Not really cause any problems here. But yeah, I think the metal slime sword is the only other thing that I really care about right now. So, yeah. I looked around, there wasn't a whole lot else that I really saw that caught my eye. So we're gonna go ahead and grab them. I'm assuming that the the fellows over here are also of the Take this. nighttime variety. At least that's my guess. I assume I can hit these damn drackies. Damn evasive enemies. Those guys are the worst, especially in uh, Final Fantasy X. What are the nine skill points? Great. Uh, no, we're going to save those for a bit later. See if I can find these little... Okay, yeah, there they are. Cool. Again, I don't know if these guys stop showing up during the daytime, but it's always a possibility. So let me pep up and I'll deal with these guys. All right, we're set. <clears throat> Let's go find one of these uh, hyper Prexion dudes. If they didn't all disappear off the map besides that one guy that I managed to find. There you are. Hopefully we can find a group of like two. So we can get two swords, but I'm not counting on it. Okay, that works. Two of them. I mean, these guys are reasonably dangerous, so... Hopefully we don't have 
too many problems. They just like to breathe on you a lot. Like they have a uh, fire breath attack, and a fire breath attack is plenty of damage. And we can see one. Hallelujah. We don't need to see all of them, and that's for sure. And go. Come on, don't miss. You've lost all your uh, abilities, but don't miss. Nice. Whee! That's money. That's a goal. That's everything. Yeah, that kind of hurts right there. Especially if you don't have Insulatal or anything like that. Which, uh, frankly, we don't. So, you know. The yeah, SD is something you have to deal with. Alright, Rab. If done. we can get you to... Not get your turn... Sometimes, sometimes you get your turn when you switch, and sometimes you don't. I don't get it. Oh well. Uh, let's go ahead with a... Got some more on the Drac Mage there, get that little bastard out of the way. Because he likes to push after you into oblivion. So, get this bastard out of the way before he causes any problems. Goodbye. I don't want to be cursed. Okay. Not being cursed is my favorite thing. Besides, you know, clobbering these idiots. Uh, let's try some of that multi thrust. See how we do with that lightning damage. Yeah, about average. Not everything's gonna be weak to lightning, despite the fact that it'd be nice if it was. <laughs> Goodbye. And I don't think Zamel will do anything to this guy, so the crack will have to do a chunk of damage. I guess they might resist the ice right there, since I didn't do anywhere near as much as I was hoping. But oh well. You do what you do. Uh, can you knock him out with the uh, sword blow? Yes, you can. Neat. That means we're going to get uh, two metal swords. Jade's going to get another level. Awesome. Eric, uh, yeah, you're kind of killing me there, buddy. Nope. Metal slime sword and a green eye. Uh, we don't really care about we don't really care about fighting these guys. We're gonna run because, well, we don't feel like fighting them. But instead, now we're gonna go ahead and spend some time forging some of this stuff up. I don't know how much of it we're actually gonna manage to forge. But well, we might as well forge some of it. Plus, I think we have a yeah, we have some kind of something going on with the forge here. So I'll take it. Ooh. Okay, I was hoping for an ability. Oh well. Uh, recently learned recipes: the ethereal shield, which we've had for a while. I think we've had a chance to buy this for a while, at least. Uh, Bright and rock, mirror stone. Um. I mean, it'll give me some. It'll give me some pearls, so why not? I was gonna walk over to the academy and buy some pearls that way, but not terribly worried about it. Okay. A chance for a better crit right there. This is the, the quadra. Nice. And there you go. Good. I was hoping for a crit, but no such luck. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Lightning Bash right there. Really well. Okay, that's good enough for me. Hmm. Ethereal Shield plus two. I'll take it. Plus we got the eight pearls. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything weapon-wise that I really care about making. Yeah, nothing here that I... Nothing here that I really care about. Okay. But, if we go ahead and rework... Let's see. We can actually get you another... 7 points of attack power, which is nice. Um, I'll worry about that later. Let's see... Rab, you got the Hero Glyph Staff, which is 5930. 
What was the other staff that I saw somewhere around here? Um... So 55 and 44 for the Sage's Staff, compared to Rab's is, I think, 59 and 30, it said. Yeah, so we'd lose a little bit of Magical Might, but we'd gain some Magical Mending. I think that might end up being the slightly better choice there, with the extra Magical Might. Uh, we could raise you, you're fine. Jade, or Storm Spear, two and a half stars, that should not be that hard to get up then. Let's get to it. Right, let's get some sizzly puffs here. And then we're going to have to probably rely on multi bashes. There you go. That's the good stuff. Uh, let's see. Triple whammy down here. Let's see. Perfect. Halved. Okay. That's actually not bad. I'll take it. Freaking fantastic. Okay. Uh, I think we're done. Fuck yeah, we are. We got a nice, powerful lightning spear. And we also have the platinum lance for a backup in case we need it. So, that's fantastic. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, we get it. As much as I like that, I wish we could turn off the jingles for some of the stuff in the game, because they take their time getting through it. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, that's for damn sure, but at the same time, it's like, stop it. I have other stuff to do. Uh, like, forge this thing up. Yeah, how much do you sell for you? Oh, you can't, you can't be sold. Okay. So we can't sell it anyways. Alright, uh, let's go ahead, we sim, you know the deal, Sizzly Puffin. I was really hoping for a something there. Good stuff, okay. Everything's looking good so far. Everything is not turning out Millhouse, but it's turning out close enough. Alright, uh, lightning. Bat. Ooh, bat. You bastard. Okay. If it hadn't, uh, pretty well. Yeah, if it hadn't screwed me over on the bottom right there, we would at least be at plus two, I think. Oh well. We might have to. We might have to rework this one then. Actually, I know we will, but still, I was hoping not to have to. All right. Uh, let's see, we still have plenty of pearls. And that's fifteen. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I put it on the wrong side there, but uh, it seemed to have worked out for the best. Perfect. You bastard. Nice. And... There you go. Took 30 pearls, but we got it eventually. Not sure if I'm going to rework every single of the metal st stuff that we got, but we'll see how much it we'll see how much it takes one of them, uh, cell wise, up, and then we'll decide from there if we want to keep going there. Uh, let's see, very good over there. All right. So anything in here that I care about besides... Why does it... It keeps screwing up the order of the, uh, the items in here for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, so Magic Circle, which I don't really care about, but 
Metal Goomerang, I definitely care about. 16 and 3. Okay. Let's get to it. Uh, I forgot all I forget all the boomerangs have this. Actually, I don't know if the um like the circus the circle one has the uh, same look here. It probably does. Okay, so we have a chance for a higher crit here. That didn't help out much. Uh, let's see. Okay, that works. Uh, let's see, yes. This might not actually work out quite as well as I would hope. It's not going to. Okay. Yeah. We might have to retry this here. I'll try it one more time, and then if it doesn't work, well, we tried. It... Oh, well, it gave me plus one, so that's nice. Yeah, but it's not giving me the extra... Um, it's not giving me any... It's not giving me any good boosts on it, which is uh, killing me here. Okay, that put it up by a thousand, so... I'm assuming at plus three, it'll just be like 15,000, which would be an extra, you know, 5,000, which is nice, but not really necessary. Again, especially since we can just go ahead and make big bucks at the casino by selling off our elixirs or something like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't really care about the extra crit chance, but I helped out a little bit there, I guess. Yeah, this will be... Okay, plus three. Sure, why not? I did take 32 pearls, though. So unless it actually increased the cost by 3,200 or, or, or more, then it's not going to be worth it if I have to rework each one of them twice. Which it seems like it might, because these are not going up as good as I was hope, as I would hope. So we might have to save these until we have even better... Okay. 16,000, so you'll make, what, a 2,800 profit off of the pearls? Eh, I think I'll wait till I can, you know, consistently forge them up to plus three later and worry about them then, but for now, I think we're good. Uh, let's see. Pirate's hat, that's for Eric, but we don't really need it. Uh, let's see. Again, why did it... Why the fuck does it keep doing this? That's pissing me off that it keeps changing the order of the items when I am clearly wanting it to be in a set order. I think it just goes back to the the order that is in the bag since changing the... Sorting it in here doesn't seem to actually sort it in the bag. It just changes for that one time. Okay, uh, the imp knife... That could actually be pretty decent if we forge it up a little bit later, but for now, um, 77 on the Dread Dagger, and then, honestly, we could buy a second Imp Knife and get it up to 83, uh, which I might try to do off-screen. Let's see. Metal Slime Sword. Your attack power is 84, and it goes up to 95, so not bad for a... Not bad for a slime killing weapon. I'm not terribly worried about it right now. Uh, let's see, Sage's Staff. Yeah, we want to get you up. And you're only two and a half, so that shouldn't be too horrible. There you go. Uh, let's go with the multi bash here. Hope for the best. 
don't want to chance it any more than I have to. Perfect. Uh, uh, let's go ahead with some lightning bashes here. Yeah, that'll be really well. Okay. It's nice. But... Hmm. That put me down at 9 if I use the uh, cold blow. Why has it got to be 12 instead of 10 like the other one? I would like to use another lightning, lightning bash, but that would probably cause it to go over, so we're going to have to stick with just the uh, plus 2 here, it seems like. Oh well. Alright, for our 10 pearls we have left, we're not going to be getting a whole lot else here going on. The fire and light reduction is not bad, primarily the fire part, but it's not anything I really care about. The Titan belt for the attack and defense is not too shabby, but we're a bit short on the pearls. Scan to the swimsuit. I wish the defense went up to something besides one, but even if it did, it's Still not the best thing ever. Uh, Gumborello. Okay, yeah, we don't care about you. Uh, I think that's most of what I'm going to take care of right now. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I think that'll be it right there. I mean, we didn't get as much as I liked, since I didn't have as many pearls as I would like, but we'll survive. Uh, let's see, Soul, you are set, my good sir. Uh, was there something besides the Hades Helm that I wanted to give you? That increases your magical might amending, but I'm not terribly worried about it. The zombie mail, I think the zombie mail is something I wanted to trade off here. Because while it's nice for the extra curses and dark protection for that one boss, you know, Papa Evil, it's not exactly what we need right now. Spiked armor, just pure defense, and then the King's Coat, which has less defense, but it gives everything else. So yeah, let's put that back on. There you go. And then... I don't think we need the rousing ring on you, so let's go ahead and give you. Let's go ahead and give you. Where is it? That gives you defense. Yeah, let's just give you the Titan belt for now. Lose out on a small amount of defense, but I think you'll survive. Restorative, you're still doing okay with that. Rab, instead of your hero glyph staff, we're gonna get you that uh, sage's staff for. Not much of a boost to Magical Might, but you get a small boost in the Magical Mending. Crowned Undersill, you're still set on that. King's Coat, uh, I could probably try to work that up a little bit more for you off screen, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Rousing Ring, we're going to give you something a little better than that, so let's go with some uh, Poison. Yeah, we don't care about Poison. That gives you a little bit of defense, but we're not terribly worried about it. Um, no, we don't care about that. That'll give you slightly more MP, but frankly, you have plenty of MP at the moment. Honestly, let's give you the Warlock just for a little extra oomph. And the Ring of Reddits. Uh, let's see, 40%. Nice. Honestly, I think you're good with what you have, especially since you're pretty much fine. You are set right there, unless we can find a better tiara or something for you. Uh, the happy hat actually has slightly more defense, but let's see, what is the silver tiara? Oh, just defense and charm. Um, yeah, you lose that on the charm, but you're not actually using the charm right now, so... And that'll keep her MP nice and high as we go. Honestly, the Papillion Mask will be fine for now, I think. Uh, the Agility Gillette, you're fine. Savando, we're going to go ahead and give you a... Yeah, Metal Slime Sword for slightly stronger. You lose a little bit of charm, but frankly, you're doing okay as it is. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, we'll have you on a shield for now. Everything else is looking pretty good. Eric, you got the pentaring. It's set. Hendrick, you're also pretty set. Alright, so we are done with our... There's that ethereal shield I could have bought. Yeah, thanks, game. Uh, we're done with our current batch of dropping and forging. Next episode, we will go ahead and start heading towards the Sniffleheim region and see what's going on there. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.